Metro is the first major transportation agency in the world to operate a fully alternative fueled clean air bus fleet. And the South Coast Air Quality Management District has recognized that distinction with their Clean Air Award. The AQMD Award honors the promotion of good environmental stewardship. In Metro's case, improving air quality and lowering costs by operating the country's largest CNG fleet. Metro is also a leader in adopting green practices and policies and provides funding for carpool lanes, van pools, and bike lanes. Plus, we'll take you to Santa Monica for the groundbreaking ceremony for Phase 2 of the much-anticipated Expo Line. Are you noticing more and more young people next to you on buses and trains? No, you're not imagining it. And coming up next, I've got some answers. These stories and more are coming up. I'm Joe McDonald. And I'm Tamara Henry. Welcome to Metro Motion. Find out what your Metro is doing to keep L.A. County moving on Metro Motion. Topping our show, the Federal Transit Administration has awarded Metro $34.7 million in grants for new clean fuel buses and a new downtown bus station. FTA Deputy Administrator Therese McMillan joined Metro Board Chair and LA Mayor Antonio Villaragosa, Metro CEO Art Leahy, and a host of other officials at Metro headquarters to make the announcement and to urge Congress to support the transit investments proposed in President Obama's American Jobs Act. And on behalf of President Obama and Secretary Ray LaHood, I want to congratulate the people of Los Angeles for putting new, reliable, and energy efficient buses on the streets, for continuing to modernize stations to accommodate more passengers, and for improving the connections between bus and rail service so that even more people will leave their cars at home and take transit instead. The grants will help Metro purchase 60 new cleaner burning CNG buses and build a new Patsoros Plaza bus station adjacent to Union Station. The projects on the receiving end of all that funding will improve mobility across the region, particularly on our already overcrowded state freeway and highway systems. And when you're talking freeways, you're talking Caltrans. We caught up with District 7 Director Mike Miles to discuss how the Department of Transportation and Metro work together to squeeze more capacity out of our freeways and create a multimodal transit network for a more mobile future. And we worked in partnership with them to come up with solutions to try to relieve the congestion that we have in Los Angeles. But I don't think there's any one silver bullet that's going to relieve us of congestion in the Los Angeles area. It's going to be many things that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to start doing more carpooling, more transit, and doing things that are going to be friendlier to moving more people and not necessarily more cars. But we're also looking at smarter cars. So there's a lot of things on the horizon that are coming up that were science fiction a few years ago, but are coming reality with the the technology that's evolving so quickly today. The Metro Board has approved the final environmental impact report for the Crenshaw LAX Transit Corridor project. LA County's future sure looks bright and Metro is going to be a big part of it. That's right, with a freeway system that's already way overcrowded, more people surely means more Metro riders. And these new transit riders stepping onto train platforms and waiting for buses at the corner represent a whole new demographic. A growing number of 20-somethings are going Metro to rave reviews. Whether it's an economic choice, a lifestyle choice, or just a way to spend more time relaxing, there's no doubt Generation Y is changing the face of LA mass transit. Reporter Greg Goldner has more. Today more than ever we're seeing more and more iPhones, iPads, laptops on trains, buses, etc. Is that because technology is rapidly evolving or are we getting a whole new demographic of mass transit riders? I hit the streets and caught up with a few Generation Wires who were able to give me some insight on this interesting shift in mass transit riders. Madeline Brosen lives in Koreatown and works at UCLA. Her mode of transportation? The bus and her bike. While Fred Camino lives and works downtown and gets from point A to point B thanks to Metro's trains and buses. Now both Madeline and Fred have chosen the car-free lifestyle and never looked back. I just really started to realize how much of a hassle owning a car was and that it was just kind of a hindrance to my life. So I started to think, well, can I live without a car? So I kind of did a test for a month and I realized the most I'd move my car was just for street cleaning days. I enjoy it because it's really 
easy. It's easy. When, it, when you're driving, that's work. You, you know, I, I work hard enough during the day. I don't want to, after I go to work, have to get behind the wheel of a car and, and be stressed out driving home. Whether you're an average Joe who just recycles or an extreme environmentalist, Chaz believes that it's all about people stepping up and doing their part. And what better way than by riding Metro? There's lots of things going on. Some people believe in global warming, some don't. But I feel like if we get on um, you know, public transportation, everybody puts in a little bit, every little bit helps, you know. Studies have shown that nearly 80% of the 80 million people who make up Generation Y don't want huge homes in the suburbs and the expensive cars that go along with them. Yet, they want a simpler and more pared down lifestyle. We just don't like the idea of spending all this money on, on cars when, when there's other cool stuff we can spend money on. Overall, you know, you get a chance to be physically active and, you know, you kind of get this little sense that you're doing a little bit to help the environment and that, it, you know, overall you just have a better life sometimes without a car, you know, like, and I don't think it's a very easily perceived by older generations, but I think that kind of younger 20-somethings are really starting to pick up on that. The fact that so many young people are starting to embrace this lifestyle, car-free lifestyle, um, combined with the fact that uh, LA's transit system is, is really starting to expand and there's plans to expand it even more, I think we'll see in the next 25 years, LA is really going to change. It's not going to be uh, the home of the car culture anymore. This fall, Metro hosted the second annual Transit Flicks video contest, inviting riders to produce original two-minute videos that encourage others to try transit by creatively showing how going Metro impacts their own lives. Dozens of commuter Coppolas and Transit Tarantinos submitted their work in the hopes of winning the grand prize, a free Easy Transit Pass for a year. The envelope, please. The grand prize winner of the second annual Transit Flix contest, as voted by you, the viewers, is $1.50 City, directed, edited, and starring Noah Mucci. And now, without further ado, here's $1.50 City. One of the first things somebody said to me um, when uh, I moved to Los Angeles was, you're gonna need a car to do anything. And uh, I'm four years into being here, and I still don't have a car, and I, I feel like I'm doing a lot. Um, I, have a, I have a social life, I have a, a very complicated job that requires me to be uh, different places on a day-to-day -day basis, um, and uh, I, I get to do it. I mean, I, I, it, comparatively to what you spend on gas, it's, it's a financial saver, and it's a, I, I look at it as a, a, a $1.50 city. I mean, I, I have access to anywhere in Los Angeles. It's a very, it is a very meditative experience. Um, you really, you get a, you get to see little slices of other people's lives and days and routines, and it's kind of a, a unique experience in that regard because you don't get that in a car. It sort of gives you a little time to your day that's a, a bit more personal and special. I mean, it gives you time to read, gives you time to write, work on something. I mean, there's a lot of thinking space and to be had in a, in a metro ride. From all of us here at Metro Motion, thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.